We've got some really big news today with uh, the release of Amazon Hall, some uh, capacity constraints with Amazon, uh, dangerous goods uh, shipment things that are going on. And then, of course, some interesting news with 3P sellers and 1P sellers. So let's go ahead and dive right into it here. So the first piece of news uh, is a big one that we've been talking about coming for a while. So Amazon just launched Amazon Hall, a new shopping experience to rival Temu and Shine. Amazon has introduced Amazon Hall, a budget-friendly shopping feature now live in beta in the U.S. app, offering items priced at $20 or less across categories like fashion, lifestyle, and electronics. This new section includes special discounts, free delivery for orders over $25, and free returns for items above $3, with purchases protect protected by Amazon's A to Z guarantee, which I think is interesting. According to Amazon expert Vanessa Hung, this move could provide sellers of affordable essentials and trendy items a new opportunity to reach budget-conscious buyers potentially competing with discount giants like Temu just in time for the holiday shopping. Amazon Hall could attract users looking for low cost, quick access items. So really big news uh, that we've seen coming for a while, but it's finally released. Um, I think the interesting things in there is it's, it's app only currently, uh, $20 or less, free delivery over $25 and uh returns are free as well so uh eric uh, what are your initial thoughts on amazon hall and how it's going to affect amazon in general yeah I'm, uh, we've seen this coming for a while um just to, even in the uh, amazon influencer program they were running some promotions to prioritize low priced product reviews from influencers so uh you know my wife she's been an amazon influencer for some time um, so, I mean, we saw this coming. I think it's really going to impact um, private label sellers more than like general wholesale. And really the where it will impact private label is in the categories that we talked about, the fashion and the lifestyle, the electronics. I think it's challenging, like if you're in the food niche to compete mm -hmm. with, like, nobody's going to be importing some of these foods that people are buying, you know, they're not going to be imported from China. So I think you're protected yeah. on that side. But it's definitely going to have an impact to some of these these lower priced items that people have been selling for years and making a living off of as from the Amazon seller side. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the the question that's in my mind is, is it going to help regular sellers on Amazon.com or hurt them? I could see it going both ways by pulling traffic from amazon.com over to Amazon Hall and buying more Chinese direct from China goods. But I could also see it helping by bringing those people that are shopping on Temu and Shine into the Amazon world and potentially increasing the amount of traffic on Amazon in general. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. I, I, I think that, Right now, it seems like Amazon Hall is regulated to the Amazon Hall section, right? I think the real right. problem is going to come into play if they start peppering those listings in with the regular Amazon.com, right? So you're going to have yeah. these category leaders that are selling something for 30 bucks, and then right below that in an organic or possibly even, uh, you know, a... Uh, uh, PP, a uh, sponsored spot will be this super low dollar item that, you know, maybe the images look just as good as the main competitor and someone's going to go, well, heck, I'm, I'll pay $15 for this thing rather than 30. So I, if I'm not mistaken, Amazon did that with handmade. Um, Eric, do you, mm -hmm. did, did, do you know about that one about handmade? And no, I've never sold in the handmade. Okay. Part yeah. Part. A lot of years ago, I got invited, and so I started doing handmade knives. And if I remember correctly, it was just handmade, and then handmade ended up just in all the regular listings as well. So, yeah, um, yeah I think that's going to be pose a real problem for sellers. And I agree with you, Todd. 
traffic. Yeah, sure. Of course, that's what Amazon wants. They want those buyers, but those buyers are all looking for the low dollar stuff. They're not looking for the quality stuff. So I don't mm -hmm. know how much I'm sure there's going to be some sort of overlap of people that come to Amazon that were Timo buyers and now they're at Amazon Hall and they go, well, this isn't exactly what I want. And so then they buy a higher dollar item, but still. <laughs>